We got a clap uh, sync. All right, ready? <laughs> all right. Five, four, three, two, three, one, clap. Two, one. <laughs> all right. What is good, y'all? Um, welcome to episode one of The Mixing Pot, uh, a brand new uh, podcast for uh, your virtual set of ears. Um, <laughs> it's your host, Ben. Um aka the swaggy Ilipino and I'm joined by um we got <laughs> we got uh, uh Ben Ben number two. Ben number two please. I mean Ben number one in my heart. Ben number oh one in my, my heart. God bro uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi guys I'm Ben uh just uh some random white guy. Oh all right okay. give it up for the random white guy right, <laughs> um actually, my parents are asleep we got we got J Steezy, just uh, aka Justin. Yeah, just go by Justin. Don't call me J Steezy. Uh, my name is Justin. I like to play video games and I like cars. Okay, there you nice. go. So you, so you do like cars? Okay. If yeah. you didn't know, we're giving away a car at the end of this podcast. So check broke. under your seats. <laughs> <laughs> a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> uh, next up, next up, we got we got uh, Notion in the chat. Hey guys, my name is Brian. I have the most credit card debt here, so I have great financial <laughs> advice. Yeah, give it up for Brian. Someone call his bank, please. And uh, and then we have uh, some some guy named Interesting, which is kind of interesting. Of course. I thought you were introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> introduce yourself, buddy. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Eric. I'm the youngest one here, of course. So. He's not a minor anymore, ladies. Give it up. There you go. Give it up for crazy. for Eric. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna introduce Rhythmbot before Eric. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, thank you to Rhythmbot for sponsoring the tunes today. Uh, shout out to you all. Yeah, yeah, sponsoring yeah, so. the tunes today. Thanks for clearing up. You know, our, it's, it's brick outside. We got to keep it warm. All right. Our copyright claims. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what's the first topic today, Ben? Um. So, yeah. Uh. I guess, you know, first episode, um, it's kind of like starting off our day, um, even though it's, you know, early in the morning. We, I mean, we are starting off our day pretty early, so. Um, like, now it's one. I, it's like 1.30. Um, so, wha- <laughs> what else to do? 1.30 other than- p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, I kind of I kind of want to know, um, since you were starting off our day, I'm, I'm kind of curious, what... Um, what is the best cereal to eat dry? <laughs> oh man, you're gonna say it. Let's go first. You, me, dude. Honestly, if you dry cereal, you're a monster. So yeah, I love Reese's Puffs because they're basically candy, but they're Bro, cereal. Puff dry? <laughs> but yeah, dude. But no milk. No, dude. It, it has but, a powdery uh, coating that helps uh, it slide uh, down. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, I, it doesn't sound like it would have that creamy texture that regular Reese's uh, Reese's peanut butter cups would have. But I mean, I'll take your word for it, buddy. I mean, someone earlier said they like the mini weed dry. The mini weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's, Bro, a, that's literally dry. eating a desert right oh. there. No, 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 dude. So like, okay, it's gonna sound very disgusting, but trust me, it's very good in practice. In practice. Uh, so. When you eat the mini wheats, right? It's like your saliva pretty much just like, like, like helps it. So, yeah, it's like a desert. Bit. It pulls so, the water out no, of no, you. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not seventy percent water anymore. You're sixty nine percent water after eating mini wheats dry. No, I'm no, telling you, you lose all the water so content good. in your body after eating them dry. Oh my god! So okay. y- keep you're going, telling me, keep going. You're telling you're telling me the saliva adds texture. Ah. Uh, no, it gives it it gives it more flavor. Basically like a lollipop. <laughs> a lollipop? You do realize that a lollipop is just like flavored spit, right? I, think, I, I just yes. wanna make sure you, you guys know. Okay, good. good, Yo, good, good. A, yeah, but eating a mini wheat dry is like literally just taking the wheat straight from the farm and eating it, dude. No yeah, dude, dude, but okay. Yo, I no, I trust me, I'm not wrong on this. It's so good. Are are these like the frosted mini wheats? Do yeah. they got flavor? Oh, that's what okay. I said. The I mean, mini if it's like the official cereal of the Olympics, I mean, Boy, yeah, they got something in them. Man. Reason. Yeah. Hey, man, if that shit makes me run like Usain Bolt, then fuck it. I'll try it. Mm. 
Um, I don't know. We're diving in head first. <sighs> Brian, I think what, about you? what cereal do you like dry? Fruity Dino Bites. Walmart branded. <laughs> Walmart branded cereal. <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> yo, someone, hey, yo, no. throw up a picture. Yeah. Throw up a picture of this joke. Bro, the fruity pebbles on crack. <laughs> Wait, you know about these? Yes, Wait, yeah. they're basically fruity pebbles. What are you talking about, bro? You're, you, you're talking to a Hispanic right here. <laughs> what does that mean, Eric? <laughs> bro, that means my mom don't like getting uh, the, the brand the, name. The brand yeah, name. The brand <laughs> singular, bro. It's all about the great value. Yeah, no, no, it's not even great value. I don't, yeah, I Yo, like, have like, brand names. Like, great value, kind of wild. I remember watching a video about great value ice, ice cream sandwiches, and that sh that stuff didn't melt for like three days. The what now, just the great value ice cream sandwiches? They left them outside, and it didn't melt in three days. It's disgusting. It's not ice cream, yeah. bro. Sounds like a Big Mac. A Big Mac? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, the, uh, yeah, I think I saw a video of like a Big Mac. Yeah, and somebody I left it out for 14 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same uh, on the first day. Uh, yeah, they never like spoiled or anything. I'm glad someone actually got it. Okay, so realistic, aren't okay? Realistically, if we're like trying to be objective about like the best cereal to eat dry, uh, is there isn't there a cereal? What what cereal has like yogurt coating on it, or like oh, any, any type of coating? Special <sighs> Reese's K. Puffs. Special K does not have coke. <laughs> <laughs> Raisin Bran. Bro, I, I don't what know. What do you why, mean by a yogurt coating? Like, like I, well, I feel like there's like. I know exactly. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yogos. They, there's out. something called Mother Yogos. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mother okay, look, 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 look. listen. Hear me out. Special K has fruit and yogurt cereal. That okay. just slaps. It has like little little mini yogurt pieces and little like berry pieces. Okay, I, I think that's what I was thinking about. But do you have it with milk or without milk, Brian? No, you like can with, you can have either or because the yogurt does actually help a little bit. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it would help. But technically, that's not really eating it dry then. If it's just gonna, dude, if I'm eating cereal, I don't want to feel like I'm eating like rocks. Bro. Chalk. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't. Who is out here eating cereal dry willingly? I mean, okay, what if you're eating like honey bunches, right? I know it's that's technically like just eating granola. I mean, but it's I'm, still cereal. I'm honestly about to just look up cereals, dude. Wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. Even even better question than best dry cereal, right? Substitution for milk that that isn't chocolate milk or any type of oat milk dairy. Water. Any type of dairy. <laughs> oat milk not dairy, ben. Orange juice and and what what is it? The Walmart? Fruity Pebbles? Fruity <laughs> Dino Bites? With, fruity with, Dino Bites with orange, orange juice. juice. Dude, no. yeah. And it's gotta no. be the Tropicana one, the pulpy <laughs> one, bro. I'm pretty sure that'll blow up, bro. I'm pretty sure there'll be a chemical reaction if we do that. <laughs> the acidity. The acidity. <laughs> it's gonna foam up like a science experiment and just fly out of the beaker, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be like a volcano, like, like a middle school volcano project. <laughs> Okay, we got orange juice. Anybody else got anything? I don't want to hear it anymore. Oh, milk. I mean, I tried oh, that oh, once. I oh, wouldn't oh, recommend apple it. Sauce. Apple yeah. sauce. Apple sauce. <laughs> so thick. You like it thick, Eric? Like a uh, like oatmeal? Yeah, bro. I like my pulp. Apple sauce. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, you leaving the pulp in it? He, he didn't oh. even pick a juice with pulp in it. He just straight up picked pulp. <laughs> you woke up today and chose violence. That's what you did. <laughs> No, dude. Sorry. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just looking at the the Walmart cereal section, and I, has... for some reason I found applesauce. Ooh. Is right, there applesauce my serious one? answer is oat milk. I guess that dairy. counts. I don't know. I, mean, I have, I have, I have almond, almond milk. milk. Almond milk is okay. Well, it's because some people don't like the taste like... of almond. I mean, I like has anyone has like anyone tried soy milk? milk? No, yes, How about the lactate stuff? <laughs> yeah. okay. What was that, Eric? What was that, Eric? I don't think I don't think any I don't think we quite heard you. I heard it. I heard it. Milkers. Okay, buddy. <laughs> That's getting cut out. What? <laughs> nah. He he just turned eighteen, bro. It's legal. Stop, oh, dude. Okay. The last minute's getting cut. Why? All right. Anyways. So what's the uh, next topic, you man? can't just do a podcast with cuts in it, dude. You gotta go yeah, record it straight through. <laughs> no, 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 no. If, if it's pre-recorded, you can cut it. If it's live, it's... fuck it. 
And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> okay, buddy. Rhythm yeah, Bot, take it away. Play play Blueberry Gago, Rhythm Bot. <laughs> play a Dollar Shave Club commercial. Anyways. No, it's it's the Raycons. It's the Raycons. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's getting the free pair? Who's getting the free pair? Ben, what's the Dude, next topic? That sounds so illegal. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I guess, okay. So, okay, we figured out we figured out pretty good dry cereals to eat on their own. You guys are nasty. Um, oh, and then, and then substitute for milk, still disgusting. I think water takes the cake, obviously. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Sure. um but you. you know, you know, you know what it is after, after a, a nice, a nice short breakfast because breakfasts are never long. Um, uh, we got to hop on the bus and get to school. <laughs> um, back in my and, day, I had to walk 10 miles to school across to a jungle in a forest. Okay, Ooh. dad. <laughs> there you go. Back in um, my day, I had to walk through Nagasaki. Nagasaki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your your dad really said he was enlisted and he went to school. <laughs> he right, out. Right. <laughs> I wish. Oh man! All right, so we're we're on the bus, right? And then, uh, I, honestly, wait, wait. First, okay, first worst bus experience ever, bro. Uh, I, I want to hear it. Back of the bus, and there were these girls in front of me showing each other dick pics. <laughs> oh, How old were you, Eric? Uh, no, that was no, last no. Year. Oh. Dude, oh, no. I have a good one about that. All right, go. Technically, go I it, wasn't man. on a bus, right? But it was seventh grade, um, and we had to like walk up the street, probably like. Okay, it was like a five-minute walk, and it was like mm -hmm. cold outside. It was during the winter, and I was in band at the time. And there what was this play? dumbass kid, oh, uh, trumpet. Mm. There was this dumb fucking kid on our bus that everybody hated. This dude was so fucking annoying. And he was at our bus stop. And one day he pulled up. He chose violence. And so I fucking fought some kid at the bus stop at fucking seven in the morning. Did you win? I did win. It wasn't like a fight fight. I just kind of like pushed him to the ground while uh, somebody's mom watched. Oh, um, oh damn. I mean, I did that. It, well, okay, so this kid was, like, bullying Jason. Jason's my little brother, by the way. And he, like, wait. started pushing Jason as he got out of the bus. And Jason was, like, in elementary school, so I had to, like, wait for him. And so, yes, this was an elementary kid student. And, yes, I was in middle school, so I wasn't, like, an adult beating up a kid. So <laughs> he started, he pushed my brother onto the ground. So I grabbed him and, like, threw him across the yard. And I told him to not touch across my Across the again. yard? Dude, yeah. Jason's super saiyan. Oh, I felt that. He's a pretty short kid. I mean, I think he's in the army now, so God bless him. Protect him. <laughs> Wait, nah, bro, Justin, just... is this somebody I know? Uh, do you remember Jose? He like, it was like in the... He lived in oh. the main street of Eagles Point. I don't remember this. Mm. That's wild. So, basically, you... And then we became cool, and then we were friends. But I haven't seen him in a while, so... Wow, so um, it definitely a, a 180 from Ben's story. He just kind of dropped some kid and didn't give him a kiss. You're rude, dude. Dude, fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, craziest thing I I, I experienced on the bus. Um, someone was shaking ass out the window, bro, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what is what is go Actually, that's a lie. Can't relate. Um, that's California stuff there. Okay, we don't have... Okay, first of all, we didn't have buses what? in California, bro. Wait, what? They had we bikes. Had, nah, everyone just got mm. dropped off from by their parents because everyone was fucking was bougie rich. as hell. Uh -huh. Oh, so you included, huh? Uh, so you're a rich boy. Well, what was I going to do? There wasn't any buses. Nah, bro, you fight back. You walk. Yeah, oh, you yeah. walk. Yeah, so I can, I can experience the... the the pain my parents had to go through when they walked 10 yeah. miles through the jungle. Yeah, Crazy. Yeah. That's um, what you gotta do. Nah, okay, no, that wasn't the craziest thing I saw on the bus. Uh, so, on, it, the craziest thing that happened on the bus wasn't on the bus. We were we were driving to school, and I think we there was, like, traffic at a stoplight. And this one girl started, like, she, like, she, like, popped out of her car, and she was, like, popping titties. And I'm like, bro, is this allowed? Oh. I'm dead assed. How old were is, you? This is, we were, uh, I think, no, I was in high school. I was in high school. Oh, was it your I first titty you saw? <laughs> uh, That's a good question. <laughs> your first real life titty. What was the question? 
Was that your first real life date <laughs> you saw? <laughs> can, can I phone a friend? Why? No. Of course, go ahead. Go off ahead. the dome. No, can no, I no. can can I use my lifeline? No. No. Go go off the Sur dome. No. Uh, survey says. No. Cap. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Moms don't count. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I have an, oh wait, no, I'm not gonna talk. Then about the answer that. is yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> let's face it, everyone's first titty is their mom's. Come on. I think we're done with that conversation. <laughs> All right. Hey, my babysitter. Wait, what are okay. the doctors? <laughs> hey, Brian, <laughs> Brian, Brian, what's your worst bus experience? I'm taking over. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't actually think of one. I, there was never really a bad bus experience. I mean, yeah, there have been a few I times. Really. Yeah, no, there have been a few times where we would like throw the football around at the bus stop and then it would hit like the neighbor's window and they would come out running trying to find who it was. We would always hide, but that's about it. Not Did, did y'all have <laughs> shitty bus drivers? No, I had a really nice one. We would, yes. we would give him gifts. Wait, wait, in element. Wait, Justin, is it elementary school, like fifth grade? That one white lady. I think she had like a son that was always in the first seat. Like a a, a kid. Like it was young. Yeah, he was younger. Oh, like their way child. younger. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, she was really nice. Yeah. Was she bad? No. I mean, I can't remember. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. Nah, bro. We had some. We had some assholes for bus drivers at Hilton, bro. It's Hilton, of course. It's Hilton. Fucking high school. I think. I think like one time the morning, they like bro. assigned seats, bro. I'm like, we're in high school. What do you mean? Yeah, you're I have not to growing. Sit here? You're still a child in high school, bro. Yeah, I. I, I had to think about the. Actually, still, I still remember my uh, <laughs> my bus number. It was two seventy seven. Oh, it's two thirteen. I don't even, I don't, I don't know. Wait, okay, so shit, what was bro. your worst, like, middle school or elementary school experience? Huh, uh, let me think about this. Oh, man, I, I, it was the first day I went on yellow on my card, because you had those cards that would be, oh, I remember uh, that shit. green, I yellow, remember, and, yeah. and red. Okay, so, this is what I did. This, this kid went to the bathroom, right? He was taking a dump, and... <laughs> I wanted to joke around, so I turned off the lights and I closed the door. So it was like pitch black, and this kid was screaming. And I ran out, and then I went back to class. <laughs> Next thing you know, the counselor came inside with the kid, and the kid was like crying. And and she was like, "Who left him in the bathroom and closed the lights while he was in the bathroom?" <laughs> and like I was scared as hell. Yes. And then and then the kid knew it was me, and he pointed at me, and I was like, "Oh man." But you see, that's like traumatizing anything. someone, right? Well, and I just for, got put for you, for the kid, and I just got put on yellow, and I was like, all right. But like, I was really scared because that was my first time, first and only time. I'm a good boy. And like, when that happened, I changed, and now I always leave the lights on in the bathroom. <laughs> Dude, so if we're going on bathroom stuff, I remember in third grade, I went to the bathroom one day, and for whatever reason, I was like bored, so I fucking TP'd the bathroom, uh -huh. and uh. <laughs> they came out and they pulled like six of us out of fucking class <laughs> like sat us out in the fucking hallway it was like interviewing us and like yo when did you go to the bathroom blah 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 was it like this when you left and so I lie out of my fucking teeth and I was like nah bro it wasn't me and so all my friends were about to get in trouble I finally took the fall and did I had to know? write I had to re I had to write the uh, the custodian's apology letter Damn. I, I was sorry. <laughs> did he write you back? <laughs> no. Bro, he said, fuck that kid. <laughs> he probably didn't even read that shit, bro. <laughs> Dude, I remember in fourth grade, uh, we were at an assembly, and I cut some girl's hair in the middle of the fucking assembly. Yo! Whoa. Yeah, dude, it was wild. You just had scissors like that? I guess so. I think we had our backpacks. Was it those Fisker scissors? Uh, Fisker's probably. a good brand. Respectable. It probably, it probably was just like little kid scissors. Bro, speaking of speaking of bathroom stuff, uh, so Ooh. I went to <laughs> I went to a, a private elementary, like a like a like I went to a private school when I was a kid, to like the fourth grade, and I think this was like the second grade. Um, so mind you, like private school kids are really like some of them like really keep to themselves and they like really follow the rules and they're trying like you know they um. Sometimes I get scared to ask questions. Um, and so we're, we're sitting there taking a, taking a test, right? 
and this kid, he's just like, you know when like when you when you're sitting at your desk and you're just shaking your leg. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. this dude was like, he looked like a fucking rabbit, bro. And I'm like, what is wrong with him? Is he good? Um, and then, and then next thing you know, dude, man's, <laughs> man's pisses himself. Bro. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was mad quiet. Ben. It was Ben. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was it was traumatizing to watch, but bro, it, like he, he didn't Wait, even move after it happened. Piss? No, like the the teacher, the teacher, the teacher was so confused, bro. We were all like, we were all sitting there, like, what is that smell, bro? Oh, no. <laughs> that shit was rancid. Like he he was drowning in his seat. I think he like, he, dude. I felt so bad for that kid. Um, Damn. I remember his name. I'm not gonna name drop him on. <laughs> on and that kid on, grew up to be <laughs> just an astronaut. Whoa! An no, astronaut. No. Oh, that shit was crazy, bro. I'll never forget that. So now, um, yeah, remember to raise your hand, kids. Okay, wait. Can I just interject and say, in high school, when there, or maybe in middle school, there'd be teachers that wouldn't even let you go to the bathroom. <gasps> I always hope oh. that there'd be some kid that can't even hold it in, and they have to go like in that spot. Yeah, like, like I can just I see really the teacher's just, face like, and laugh at them. A bladder problem. Wait, what? Dude, there's like some middle school or high school teachers that when you ask them about them, they said no. <laughs> and I always hope <laughs> yeah. that some kid would always like just. Just say whatever and just be like, all right, shit, bro, you, you know, take on your pants in the middle of class. The, the bell doesn't it. dismiss you. Why dismiss you? Exactly. That was, that was uh, dude, so there was this one time in uh, elementary school, you know, like uh, Reese's was a thing, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I was uh, I was in trouble for that recess time. So they had me just sit outside like next to the teachers. And oh. uh, I really had to take a piss. And, you know, with me being the kid that I was, I was way too shy to ask. So oh I just boy. decided to piss my pants there. <laughs> and then the teacher, the teacher looked at me and she was like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, I, I, I peed. He was like, me, me, me and Eric went to the same elementary school. Me and Eric went to the same elementary school. It was Eric's <laughs> pants. Dude, it was honestly one of the most terrifying things that, of elementary school for me at least. It's okay. Like, the only he's like, dude, when you're when you're in trouble, you don't. The last person you want to talk to is the teacher that is the teacher you in trouble, bro. <laughs> yeah. So facts. I didn't want to be like, yo, can you open the door? That's facts. That's facts. elementary school, bro. I used to get like bad news. I remember we were coming in from like recess one day, and the way like our school has like the lower like <clears throat> recess area, or whatever, and then there's like a hill that used to have like field day on and shit. And we were up at like the field day thing, dude. It was like mm-hmm. springtime, and my nose just started fucking like pouring blood on the way back inside, dude. I was covered in blood by the time we got inside. It was fucking gross. And that used to happen like every week dude, on the regular. Damn. Disgusting. I don't think I've ever had a nosebleed. I used to get them yeah, all the time, bro. I don't know why. Say nice, uh, keep picking my nose. Good. I remember uh, for for field day uh, in, in elementary school. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, I have uh, asthma, so like I had that was a big problem for me, like my childhood. So field day was always you're probably like, fucking hating COVID right now. <laughs> oh no no no! no. I, I I've been pretty good with it. I haven't had any like attacks, no nothing. So okay. I'm I'm pretty good right now. And uh, so field day was one of my but like it was like really nice to not be in class that was a thing but because of the asthma it really fucked me up so i would always just prepare before and the way i would prepare is take like five puffs of my inhaler to, like before i go to school preparation bro <laughs> And I would just have it in my pocket for the whole day, and it was, it, it, yeah, my, I ended up going to the nurse, of course. I could just it imagine like Eric getting ready for the puffs. He just goes clear <laughs> <laughs> each time. <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. All right, since we're, since we're talking about middle school, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on to uh, the next topic. Um, best or worst um, s- school lunch? <laughs> worst was the spicy crispy chicken. Argue with your mother. 
<laughs> bro, dude, honestly, I I don't know uh, if it was different for you guys, but in, uh, in high school, um, there was a like a sandwich line. There was like the like oh, two lines. Yeah, yeah the, they have the, the pizza line, line too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for us, it was either the sandwich line or the pizza line, and it was a uh, a day for the sandwich. And it was either uh, the chicken sandwich or a, a, a gross ass boiled burger. Ew. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, explain so, to us what a boiled burger is. What do you think it is? I, think no, I, I need to, I need to visualize it. I need words to visualize what the fuck you're talking about. What it looks like? It looks gray and bloated. That's okay. what a boiled burger gray. is. It's pretty hot. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I got a chicken sandwich one day and it made me feel very sick because I feel like they didn't cook it correctly because I bit into it and it was like rubbery and shit. Oh, that's disgusting. So, okay. yeah, so I couldn't eat that anymore. And what was in the normal lines, I didn't really like. So I kind of had, I, I went to, you know, I got a burger, one of the boiled burgers, got, uh, <laughs> did my normal preparation, put some ketchup on it. And they some pickles, it and I <laughs> did it. <laughs> Preparation. <laughs> I, I, I ate it, and honestly, I think it's the best thing that they ever fucking made. What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Shit about it. That was, it was the best disgusting thing. to. What? No, no, I said it looked disgusting, but nah, dude, that's actually one of the best things there. And my friends are like, "Yo, that's fucking gross." That, that it's like, nah, I'll try it, dude. Gross. I'm telling you. Like, I went back for seconds because of my fat ass. Okay, this buddy. guy. This guy. Uh, all right. Who else? Who else has a has a recommendation for school lunches? Wait, we're doing the best or worst? It, either one. You can you choose. One. You choose. You can do both. I don't I care. Mean, I, I never really ate lunch. What? Actually, oh, I really actually never ate lunch at school. Damn, boy, why do you starve yourself? I mean, I would just eat when I got home. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. What up? Can we all agree though that that school cookies were fire? Crack, they were cracked. Disgusting. Way, dude. Yeah. No, 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 no. They were either oh. really good or they were absolutely fucking. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Either, either they were, either they were hard. really hard or they were just nice and soft, bro. <laughs> okay, I did have a time. I did have a time where I did eat lunch. So. Oh, okay. Let's I do it. have some. Let's I do have some stories because. All right. So remember those little drinks they used to have? Were they Fruit Sixty Six? soda yeah. juice oh, oh yes yeah, yes yeah, yes yeah, 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 yeah the can shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. dude the skinny I, ones i used to always get that or remember we used to have a slushy machine brian and mary oh, williams what yeah yeah dude it was like two dollars for a slushy yeah they had it in, <clears throat> in potomac high school too they didn't have a middle damn you know we yeah. had a fucking forest park day old domino's pizza <laughs> Yo, okay 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 so tell me tell me why every so because hilton got domino's and everyone thought it was it was fucking revolutionary that we got branded pizza. <laughs> dude, we thought that too. We're like, dude, we got Domino's pizza now. It's about to be lit at lunch. Nah, dude, that shit was gross. It was disgusting, bro. It was like the fucking pizza really? they threw out at night. They're like, here, you guys, we had these pizzas that weren't picked up. You guys can have them for lunch tomorrow. Oh, I hate it, dude. People hype that shit up way too much, bro. You were probably one of them too, man. And bro, no, 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 no. Okay, no. It didn't on- live up to the hype. It didn't. No, honest. My okay. Honestly, my favorite, my favorite school, uh, school Ooh. lunch would probably have to be, uh, cause okay, so we would have a sub line, and they had like, um, like sweet onion, like teriyaki chicken, <laughs> to uh-huh. put in subs, and I'm like, wait, in subs? What the fuck am I eating? Um, like yeah. Subway. It's like, yeah, like like Subway, but like I I I'm not I'm like no cap. I think it tastes better than Subways. Um, and like you could, and, and it was like a, it was like a, it was like a bar type. Like you could, you could put yeah, whatever you wanted that. on it. Um, and bro, they put olives in that joint, and I don't care about how anybody feels about olives. I, Fuck I filled that shit up. I fucking bro. hate olives. Like, <laughs> ben that sandwich. That, if they ran out of olives, bro, you already knew who did it. it was Ben. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. Y'all could yell whole, at me for that the one. The whole bro. box of olives. <laughs> One hundred percent. That's Mr. Hilton was here, so guys. Wrecked. You guys ever wanted Mr. olives and you were out? It was this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my! Yeah, what's up? I, I remember the sub line too. And for our school, it was like the sweet, on, the sweet onion. Was it? Oh, teriyaki. My bad. 
the teriyaki and there was the meatball sub and then there was the steak and cheese on fridays mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then there was like ham and turkey and then if you ask the lady for the combo she'll give you both that that shit blew my mind i was like yes i want both dude what do you used to be doing to that lunch lady bro yo <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 some lunch ladies are just nice bro yo some like dude some of these ladies are like really really good to you they're like if you if you say please and thank you like they'll, they'll like scoop you like an extra like well, like uh, little yeah, they'll be like, rice, I wish my son was like, like this. chicken or something like that. I don't. No, they would be really nice. Anyways, besides the subline, which is goaded, some all well, uh, the only reason the subline ever sucked is the bread. If the bread was stale, oh, it ruined bread, the whole yeah. sub. Yeah, yeah. If the bread was I, decent, it was okay. I don't but think I ever got a sub in high school. Really? Like I loaded that thing up with the salad bar, like everything from the salad bar. I put banana peppers, lettuce, tomato. I put everything in there. I heard you heard it here. No Potomac High School, no banana peppers. <laughs> it's Brian's fault. Oh no, that, that was the only time I ever ate banana peppers. This is it at Potomac Dude, High School? I've never remember, had Potomac. Like, do you remember like junior or senior year? They like came out with like a fucking set menu. So like it was literally the same food every month. So okay, that's what I pulled up. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Then. I remember oh, that, that Mr. Wiz would always be like, what's on the menu yeah. today? Just chicken. Oh, yeah. So look, oh, my oh, God. If you, guys want, if you guys want, you can look at this right now. I pulled up the menu for last year's uh, PWCS uh, high school lunches. Why are you watching okay. that? Dude, because the Baja Cantina one used to fucking slap. I wanted to like refresh my memory, okay? What they oh, don't have oh. on here, which kind of sucks, is Stromboli's. I fucking love Stromboli's. Y'all had no, I'm sorry. Dude, honestly, dude. Oh, my God. That with the with the salsa dip or like yes. the you know the, the marinara sauce yes. or whatever it was bro oh my god that shit slapped yeah, i would always have my friends be like yo you got free lunch go give me one of them shits exactly <laughs> no, exactly <laughs> i had free lunch I, there'd be days where i came with my own lunch i'd still get that free lunch bro i was like oh, 100%, easy double bro. lunch double 100. lunch you ain't fooling anybody bro i'm i'd get double lunch too yeah. So, like, okay. Besides the stromboli, Damn, the popcorn lunch? chicken. That popcorn chicken slacks. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. That was a that was a goaded classic. You know, with the popcorn chicken. Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, the little bread with the garlic on it, bro. Oh yeah, the little wait, wait. And you open up the bread, you put the chicken inside. Like, oh. wait. When did yeah. they remember they used to have popcorn chicken that had like black pepper on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It, but they, then they changed it. They changed it to freshman year, I think. Yeah, I don't remember that. Allergies. Yeah, no, I remember the, the old popper chicken was a little bit more like not as soft. I'm not saying they're hard, but they just weren't as oh, soft. Oh no, they did change soft. it. You're right. Yeah, it used to be crispier, I think. Exactly, and then the new one was like really soft and fluffy, which I actually like. I did enjoy that one. Dude, Tuesday and, lunch, the Baja Cantina used to hit, dude. Yo, yeah, it, when they would do like nachos and stuff, yo. you just like loader. You put the if it was the shredded cheese, I wouldn't get it. If it was the melted cheese, oh. I'd get that shit. Dude, do you see Wednesday chicken wings from school? Sounds like it would fucking disgusting. Dude, chicken and waffles, bro? Yeah, they have that for breakfast. Which, why didn't they have that when we were there? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, dude, look I at re- Friday's meal. Beef hot dog. <laughs> oh, or you can get chicken tenders. Why do we have Yo, another here? Wait, I don't remember. Was the, was the lasagna? I think the lasagna was good. And then I the think the lasagna was, was good. Spaghetti was ass. Yeah, yeah. Spaghetti, spaghetti was, ass. was ass. Yo, spaghetti. They had was stuffed shells. Trash. Do you remember stuffed shells? Oh fuck, stuffed shells. I think I got sick once. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold shells back in like. Elements. I had it one time and I got sick, and I ever since then I was like, it's probably the wait, stuffed shells. Did you guys? Did you guys have spaghetti by itself? Because mm-hmm. the way that the way that I was served spaghetti was with the crispy chicken. With the parm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So it was chicken okay, that parm. Was yeah, fire. yeah. That was fire. That was fire. That was good. Cody, right there, bro. The anytime they just serve spaghetti mm. by itself, that shit was trash, bro. Dude, anything oh with the crispy God. chicken at school was fucking good. So, since we're talking about the school lunches, not the entrees, but the sides, the best side ever was that strawberry shortcake. I never that had that. I don't know, so dude. Bad. The pumpkin yeah. pie was kind of oh, fire. Wait, oh, wait, wait, never mind. Nah, dude. That. Nah, dude. I, about that. Nah, dude, I can't. I can't see the pumpkin apples, pie the same. Why? Someone, someone threw that shit against like the stall <laughs> in the bathroom. And- <laughs> 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 wait, <laughs> yo, just, yeah. Justin. yo. And then they had to close down the bathroom, and I was wait, like, nope. Justin, do you remember in high school we used to have the cereal shitter? They used to shit all no. over the fucking walls in Forest no, Park. Way. No, what? Yeah. The cereal shit? Yeah, dude. Some guy used to like shit all over the walls in Forest Park. So they had to like keep closing down the bathrooms on like a rotation because he would always change it up. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, bro. That's gross. <laughs> it was bad, dude. It was foul. Besides that, 
um, my next favorite side was the banana with the brown sugar stuff on it, like the banana, sli- oh, banana dude, slices. Oh I don't remember that. So good. Uh, the, the oh, banana yeah. slices. Oh, I do remember that. Top. It came in the yeah. little clear tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Broccoli and cheese rice. Mm. Eh, the broccoli and cheese did used to slap. I mean, they were really good, like steamed and everything. I like, didn't really... like when they changed it. It used to be good back then. They did change at one point. I used to like the cauliflower more. So I'm looking, I'm looking at the menu right now, and they have like the chicken teriyaki and also the general salad chicken. That thing is slap. No, I chicken teriyaki. Like Asian Dude, do you remember chicken cool. teriyaki used to come with like the fried noodle stuff? Yes. The, that a long terrible. time ago. Then they changed it. I, I, look, Dude, the listen, honey I, fire I chicken. The honey oh. fire chicken was good. I never noodle. liked the honey fire. That was like the tan one, right? Like the light, the light brown one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always too spicy for me. I don't know why. Too nah, spicy dude, for was you? So good. I, I, was I, so I, good. No, 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 no. It was good when they didn't like douse it in sauce. Cause, cause that's when I thought it was too spicy. I agree. I, was, I agree. I, would, I didn't think it was too please. spicy. It just, it was just like the yeah. texture was weird. No, 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 no. I, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Like every time I would see it and I had no other option, I'd be like, okay, I, I, I guess I'll. <laughs> We're going I, in, boys. Yeah. <laughs> We're so, going in. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm I, missing I, seventh I period. The, Wait. So, <laughs> I, so I tell the lunch lady, I'm like, okay, uh, could you put a lot of sauce, like just chicken? She would be like what because you know they're like hispanic so like i didn't want to talk in spanish so i would just be like no salsa and then okay <laughs> so it would be, they would just give it like dry dude, and i actually kind of liked it sometimes the chicken at school used to be like weird dude there used to be like really like hard spots of chicken bro it's fucking like ruined my entire fucking mood. i feel like the Honestly. most fights happen during lunch yeah. Like, no. Ben, were you, were you present there for the tray smashing? Oh, I was. I was present. I was. Pre- okay. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna. That was my next question. If you guys, <laughs> what? Because because I know, I know that went viral. Like, some some girl. I, I don't know if it, like if everyone here remembers, but I remember it. Some girl walked up to another girl, and mind you, these aren't like paper trays. These are like hard hey. plastic trays. She smacked the shit like she yo. She came out the cut and smacked the shit out of the back of some girl's head, and that shit broke, bro. They had to get they had to get security in there. That was crazy. There was another there was another one where this guy was standing in line, and this one guy I know I remember his name. I know exactly who it is. He you just see him missile drop kick someone <laughs> standing in the fucking line. Everyone was like, "What just fell on the ground?" And you just see his body there. Oh no! I don't that think we had any bad like bro. fights in Forest Park. Wait, where was the where was the fight where the security guard tackled the dude? Was that the That's what I was gonna bring up. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So um, there was a bunch of fights at Potomac. The one that always sticks out is that it was between two girls in the locker bay, and like one girl was on top of the other girl, uh, and it was near like the the administrator's office, like the counselors and stuff, and. Like there was, a, I wasn't there. I was like on the second floor because I was also on the first floor. And the the video somebody took was so grainy and terrible. But you could at least make out figures. And it was like out of nowhere, like literally out of the corner of the screen, you just see a police officer going full sprint and tackling a girl, the girl on top, and they flew. If- they literally Rob- slid like at least ten feet. Yeah, yeah. Rob- Man, the Rob- security are wild, bro. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like they were on that shit. Dude, they were fucking crazy. And the, they weren't even like the seniors. They were like freshmen, the girls. They were really small. But that was crazy. I don't think we had any bad fights, dude. I, I don't was remember. Fun. There was yeah, one fight I mean... in middle school. I don't know if Justin or maybe BJ remember. It was in PE and it was between Anthony Weimer and Brianna Ruxrode. What? <laughs> yeah. So, Justin, do you remember this one, though? No. Okay. So it was eighth grade because Anthony Weimer was in their seventh grade. I remember that. So it was eighth grade, and I had PE with them. And like in, um, you know how everybody has little their little groups and whatnot. Mm. Anthony Weimer, his group was like him, Sam Schneider, and like time two... just dropping names. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So it was like two or three like, people in there. I don't remember their names for those two, three people. But they would always like sit under that tree next to the 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 track i don't know if there was like a fence and there was a big tree near the fence and they would always be like right there just sitting under it while everybody else is walking and 
I was across the field when I just see like Anthony and Brianna started like, swinging at each other. And <laughs> and this and this is what Sam told me what happened was Brianna was going around the entire track with her and her like two or three friends and bothering me like like messing with people like just like tapping them on the head or like whatever and then full this is the middle away. school right this is the middle school okay okay Gross. and basically they got to Anthony who was just sitting there chilling with like Sam and them just talking about whatever they do and Anthony like I don't know what happened. I don't know what she did to Anthony but like he got annoyed by it and told her to stop. And she said no, like what are you gonna do about it? And so he got up, and then I guess <laughs> started she, swinging. <laughs> I guess she felt threatened by it, and they, like she stepped up to him. And then I don't know who started it, but basically from what I saw, Anthony swung, like not crazy, but like relatively crazy. Like 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 he actually knew like somewhat coordination, but like it was pretty like wild swinging everywhere. And I think he only landed one or two shots, but like none of them really phased Brianna. And then Brianna, I think she knew how to box because she had a stance and everything. <laughs> Dude, this girl was wild. I was like, huh? Yeah. And she like hit like Anthony, I think five times, maybe more, like straight to like the face, so, like the, at least around the, maybe the shoulder. I don't remember. And same thing, he wasn't phased either, and he just kept swinging and shit. And I, all I see is Mr. Anthes just running full sprint cross field to get to what's happening. And like I don't remember what happened after that. I don't remember like how they got cut up or or like split up or anything. But I remember that fight clearly, like to this day. Like between man, and Brianna Rexford wasn't even that skinny. She was like, I think she was like what five six, five seven, kind of like average, not like skinny, not like fat. In like, middle school, yeah, she was packing, bro. Yeah, she was like on the taller side for like I think I think girls. And Anthony was pretty tall. I think it must have been like almost, almost six foot, maybe like five ten. I think. No, they were that. just they were just having one of those Russian slap competitions to see like whose shit. jaw was stronger. Honestly, bro. <laughs> Dude, if we're talking yeah. about middle school fights, I remember one of our friends. Well, oh, dude. So in our middle school, uh, they used to have. We see. Remember the fight clubs? Did not hear is he? Fuck. But they used to have fight clubs in the bathrooms, right? Like after lunch. Oh, wow. Boy. And they used to like fight in the bathroom. And one of our friends mm -hmm. used to do that stuff. Um, the way our cafeteria was set up was there was three lines. So like one on the left, one on the right, and then one in the middle. And the one on the right uh, had a classroom on the right. And there was like a little like like support column that came out like right before the uh, the door to get into the actual like line. And there was a little mm -hmm. cubby. And one of our friends had a Minecraft picture he drew. And some other kid fucking ripped it up. So he took him into the corner and beat the shit out of him. For <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> and we're playing Minecraft. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was about to say. <laughs> oh my. yeah, we had Minecraft back in eighth grade on Xbox. Crazy. No, yeah, we had a bootleg one on the iDrive. Wait, like, in was... eighth grade? No, that's cap. No, we had we grade. had Minecraft. It came out in eighth grade. We have we have it in. No, I had Xbox grade. too. I remember it was on three sixty, but was it eighth grade? It was eighth grade. Because I remember. Did we bring the, Jason the, in here? The... Oh, he left. Because before the original Minecraft released on Xbox, we had that bootleg one that was like all created. There was no survival. I know what you're talking about. I used to play it too. Craft, what happened? <laughs> it was called survival. Fortress Craft. Maybe. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we used to have that. And then I remember because there was a dude named Gabe Del Razzo that was in a Luis and I's math class. We used to be really cool with. He came, he told us about it. We played the first ever day of Minecraft. Um, on Xbox with him, and that was the first time I ever saw one of the, uh, uh, the spider jockeys, and I didn't see one for, like, four years after that, dude. Uh, I, oh. Yeah, um, the edition came out May 2012, which is the last, uh, month of 8th grade. That's November 2012, 2013 was freshman year. Yeah, I told you, it came out the <sighs> grade. That's crazy. Because we were super hyped for it, too. I don't remember that. I remember buying and playing it a lot when it first came out, but I don't remember the exact date. Well, since we're on the topic of games, um, you know, let's take a break from school and let's let's hit it. Let's hit after school. Um, you know, first thing we do when we get home is obviously not homework because we. Uh, we're speak for yourself, not wait, good boys. Speak for yourself. wait. Wait, so talking about now or is it middle school? Uh, middle school, high school. Uh, like, I mean, like oh, after. I know what I did. 
I know what I did. Oh yeah, Brian, let, let, let it rip, buddy. <laughs> Go for well, it. I, I, we can't really talk about it because at the at the time I was a minor, so you know I don't think I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was playing Call of Duty before he was seventeen. So yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. no, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. In eighth grade, <laughs> oh, when was I was shooting. I wasn't allowed to play games in the weekdays. I was only allowed to play on the weekends. Really? Up until like senior year high school. Damn. Dude, and I'm you see how good I am? And see how good I am, dude? I'm pretty I'm yeah, pretty good. He, he had self-control. He had self-control. Yeah, yeah I remember I was a straight grade, A student. In eighth grade that, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, when they had Call of Duty of uh, Call of Duty Elite. Do you guys ever play that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was dude, like I had that. Clan tag. Your clan tag, they got yellow and stuff. Yeah, well, to my friend and I, we had a clan kill wars. confirmed tournament. A kill confirmed tournament. And like the, the grand prize was like a trip to Paris, whatever, for whatever the thing was. And we came top 100 in eighth grade, dude. We were absolutely disgusting. Top 100. So you didn't go to Paris? No, but we were top 100 <laughs> in eighth grade. Like in the Crazy whole tournament. Imagine. <clears throat> Damn, yeah, man. I remember See, getting my parents buy that shit. If I had caught on Xbox, I wonder how different it would be. You yeah, you could have been all with the, the big boys, Justin. The big boys. But no, I had to play with Ben. Yo, no, wait. If that's Okay. Way. Wait, wait, wait. If, if Justin did play Xbox instead of PS, like COD, then he would have played with Ben, and I would have met Ben like a long time ago, not just recently. Yeah, you probably would have met me in high school. Yeah, because like, I, I knew Justin since fifth grade. Yeah, I have the elementary t-shirt, and it has his name on the back. Yeah. This suit, really? Yeah. Did I miss it's kind of ripped up because it's a really old shirt, but I like I have it in my closet all you know, I I gave mine to my dog. He already ripped that shit up. Hey, what, what did you guys yeah. do after you got home from school? Well, I mean, okay, I, like, okay. I, I, I would go, do my homework. In high school, <laughs> I yeah, I think I'd play COD until like five or six, eat, and then do homework until I finish, and then play COD again. Yeah, I didn't do homework in high school. I was depressed. I think, Were you now? Actually, yeah. Well, no, depressed okay, in elementary? Like depressed, but... Middle school? I think he's in high school. High school? Hey man, um, it's a real thing. No, nah, Ben was a popular kid in high school. What? Fuck no, I wasn't, bro. You <laughs> fucked up. I felt honored to be Ben's friend. I was. There's like popular. an exclusive list, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I used to be cool with like everybody. Like I don't have a problem with many people. There's a few select people I'm not gonna name. <laughs> but after, honestly, you I were think Mr. I Hilton. Ate... <laughs> I don't want to he hear. He didn't anything. have to do homework, dude. People did the homework for Facts, him, bro. I don't want to hear anything. Stop. About they even played games. COD for him. He didn't have to play COD either, dude. dude. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, like, no, no kidding. I, like, you. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I was a nobody in high school. That is mm. a fucking lie, bro. <laughs> no, I like. Okay, maybe uh, like everyone knew me as the guy that could dress, but like no one really like. What's took everyone's the time? Instagram follower count? <laughs> Three months, like four hundred. <laughs> I have 80 or no, 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 I don't have 80. That's my Twitter but account. Ben's captain, bro, because I knew who Ben was in high school and I didn't even know him. No, you didn't. <laughs> Dude, no cap. I did. How? Okay. Explain. I saw you on Justin's Twitter. I don't know. You're annoying. You're okay. annoying. That doesn't wait, can, count. wait, wait, can I, can I interject? So yeah. in middle school, I knew of BJ. I, I don't know what BJ remembers, but I never really spoke to BJ. I think maybe I spoke to him like maybe once. And in my head, I've always thought like, oh, that's like one kid that like, everybody knows and everybody talks to. So I'm just assuming he's a popular kid. So I'm not going like, to associate with him unless yeah. like, unless it's, unless like Justin's there. I'm not going to like talk to him. But that was just me. I'm a middle man. That's yeah. middle man. <laughs> man, I peaked in middle school. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, no, honestly, yes. I remember seeing the fucking picture everywhere on my fucking Instagram, bro. Dude, he had the Bieber haircut and the Filipino mustache. I told you, swaggy Filipino. <laughs> oh none my you, god! None, none of you listen. He to posts me. pictures of him holding the guitar. He had like seven guitars in his background. Uh, I don't know if it was in middle school, but I remember him posting like, the can shit with the fucking colors and RGBs on those fucking gloves. Oh, okay, okay, that, okay. <laughs> that was that was high school. Okay, uh -huh. whatever. I we didn't even go to the same high school. How did I see that? I listened. I li I, I listened to EDM before everyone hopped on it in college. Whatever. And now I don't listen to any of it. It's fine. I it's love okay. Skrillex. Skr what? 
Yes, Skr- dude, Skrillex. Dude, I remember when Skrillex. Everybody first listens came. Skrillex. Like no, like no cap. I'm pretty sure everybody listens to Skrillex. Everyone, like, like, scary <laughs> monsters yeah. and nice sprites, bro. Come on, bro. I never listened to that. That was a different time. It yeah. it really was. I I didn't even know like what like rave culture was. I just listened to the music and had the gloves. And I had the gloves. <laughs> I I don't know what it was. Okay, so I I really liked Tutting. Um. And wait, and then, wait like, you, like, you like what? Like King Tut, Tut. like Tutting, like with Can you explain like that hands? for the audience for who? Okay, who, okay. Who, who so about if, it? if 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 you don't know what Tutting is, um, pull up the cam, <laughs> turn turn on your cam and do it right now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't I don't I don't have a cam, so um, uh, <laughs> yeah, but he has he has. <laughs> yeah, don't what? say don't don't say the O word. No, no, no. Oh, Ram? Okay, cool. Oh, my God. He, um, got, he got diamond encrusted Ram, dude. <laughs> it does have diamond. But, okay, for, for the people who don't know what tutting is, it's like, uh, you're like, make shapes with your hands, and it's like, um... Ben, do it right now. If you've ever... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, if... So he did some Naruto Jutsu <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, I, you know... The, Wait, so the isn't that like throwing up gang signs? Um, no, I'm, I'm not <laughs> affiliated. I'm not. Yeah, he is from Cali. <laughs> he has a red bandana. I know he does. Hey, wait, hey, no. hey, hey. Wait, yeah, no, wait. That. Is it red? No, no, it's blue. Blue yeah. Cali, right? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know because I'm not, a, I'm not affiliated. No, it's blue because I remember Ice Cube had blue bandanas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These what? Ghosts. And any, anyways, <laughs> yeah. So tutting is just, or gloving is just tutting. Um, with, with lights. like lights, um, I don't know. It's a little more complicated than that, but it, if you put the two together, that's that's what that's what you get. Um, that's what you're doing, man. Yeah, uh, I have. Uh, I used to. I used to post videos, really cringe videos. Um, now I don't. So I, I've moved past that. Now we just post gameplay. Really, really shitty gameplay. I know. Oh, this is a game story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm catching it. It's not my best, but it was pretty nice in the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, whatever. But Brian, Brian, just like call, Brian just likes calling out fake humble people, I guess. Just laughing because he does. I don't even follow him, but it's like a caption, bro. Oh, yeah. So if y'all don't know, me, me and Justin have been like really close, like best friends since like middle school. Um, and he doesn't follow me on Instagram because he thinks it's funny. I don't. And it kind of is. I see him every day. But but you oh, know he, he you know he he checks his explore page every day to to see if I'm on there. So yeah. it's fine. After I see a couple e girls. Anyone else's favorite after school activities? Oh my god, that was a long topic. I mean, I never really did anything. I would either play outside, or. Oh, yeah. you're gonna tell what them how, how you child. how your patch of land? Oh, you guys basically own a fucking a playground. Uh, yeah, there's a playground. A play- <laughs> okay, so we moved into this neighborhood, and my parents. So how old were we when we moved in? I was probably like 10, 12, 10 or twelve. Mm. Oh, I don't know. And my parents saw that the lot where our house was gonna be built has a playground next to it, and. I was excited. My brother was excited. My parents were like, oh, yay. So we don't have to buy them a playground in their backyard. <laughs> and that playground ended up being an infant playground. So it had baby swings, a baby slide, <laughs> and like little baby rock, rock, horse rock Jesus, things or whatever. Oh, yeah. Rocking horse, rocking horse. And I'm just baby. sitting there like, damn, me and Jason were like double digit in age, bro. And <laughs> and then you still played on that shit. I know you did. All right, all right. Because <laughs> we yeah. did in high school. It was kind of fun, bro. <laughs> in high, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no, nah, we didn't. We didn't play. We would like take aesthetic pictures or whatever. I guess. Oh, uh, I think. We was just person, did. there. There was a kid in the neighborhood that peed under the slide, though. Ooh. Wait, Justin. What up? Do you remember that one picture you took? Oh, let me go. It was a. I'm gonna go find it. I hope it's on your Instagram. Is it a? I took, it was like a Wait. picture of a street. Oh, and you told me to send it to you. Yeah, probably. It was. Right. It was. It was a house in D.C. I remember now. That was yeah. in D.C. Yeah. I don't. I don't have the photo because my phone's not the same. 
Wait, this isn't Brian in this picture, is it? Are you actually no. sleeping, Brian? Yeah, I'm actually sleeping. Picture? That's not me. Wait, it is me. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Brian. Yo. Wait, let, let, me, let me go. Was that eighth grade? No, I believe it was 14. No, no it's 2014. I'm going to look this up. Hold up. Wait, I didn't know you had that picture. Alex Snow was here, too. Um, and I wasn't. That's, that's, what, Yo, that's why I asked. If, no, no, no. If Alex was there, it was ninth grade because I remember. Uh, should I even talk about it? I'm gonna talk about it. Um, in that was the same year that Alex liked a girl, and I was really close to this girl. And I told him, like, I gave her advice on, on like the whole thing about like pretty much not to go after that girl because she's a she's a little a little much. Oh, <laughs> that's a great picture. Hey, hey, hey. That's a hey great I picture. got the caboose, bro. Like this Come is on, ben right here, guys. I got the caboose. You know what they do. Anyways, yeah. keep going, Brian. No, that's pretty much it. Like, I was just talking to him about this girl. And so that was ninth grade because that didn't happen. So that that thing didn't happen until ninth grade. I remember that vividly now. Maybe it was on Twitter. Justin, have you cleaned out your Twitter since? Uh, have you purged your Twitter? No, <laughs> because I don't have any secrets. Was that my house? It was my house, right, Justin? That was my house. I went to your house? Because it was, it was Jack, Silder, Alex, you. Justin, you post so many pictures on Twitter. Why wasn't I there? You you weren't here. You were in a different country. Wow, Ben, you're toxic, bro. So that was junior year of high school. That was 2014. No, dude. That was 2014. Because I, 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 I think no, you, no, were wait, you were either in Germany or taking your first year. Weren't you freshman year in no, Cali, I, right? No, I was in. I was at Hilton. you but you weren't on Hilton all four years, right? No, I, I went to I went to Germany my junior year. Why did you go to Germany? Cause uh, my dad got stationed over there. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, where did you go during the, middle school? Oh, matches. Stafford. Yeah, I was in Stafford middle school. Stafford, gross. Yeah, yeah. The real hood. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Yikes. Just all it's just a bunch of old white pe white retired people over here, so yo, we're, we're Justin, chilling. Yo, what Justin, up? Like seriously, I don't remember that photo being taken. Yo, Justin. <laughs> really? Why? I, just, I don't remember this. Do you remember this shit, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so someone has to explain this picture, please. So one of our <laughs> friends, Ryan, he was like six six in uh in Mr. High school. <laughs> It was like junior year because that was that was this sophomore was our, year. This was our sophomore year. So yeah, he was a junior. And our friend and Ryan so could like jump and touch the ceiling with his head, and Mr. Wiz used to like fucking prate him around to be like, "Yo, touch the ceiling with your head." <laughs> <laughs> he would show like visitors. He'd be like, "Hey, you want to see what this kid can do?" That's terrible. Oh, look, what? Here's another picture. A different day. <laughs> so those are two separate pictures. Yeah. I wonder if this is what he does for a living now. No, he doesn't. Brian just vibes out. <laughs> he doesn't want to join the Discord. I need to find. I need we to need find to have a picture. Ken Style episode. Oh God, we do need to have one. You're right. A Mr. Wiz episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's <laughs> okay. Well, we're running short on time. Are there any closing topics you want to talk about, Ben? Um. If since we're since we're saying goodbye soon, um, sleepy time. La uh, last last thing is everyone's favorite sleep remedy. Go. Sleep wait, in what way? Like, what do you mean sleep remedy? Like, what do you do to help yourself fall asleep? Oh well, I don't. I fall asleep in like half a second, so I don't do anything. <laughs> okay. So, I was okay. Sorry, guess. sorry. It's my bad. You don't have insomnia. So yeah, I was gonna say that like I have no problem sleeping, but. For a guy, and I guess for girls too, it's pretty same thing, you know. Just, you know, pleasure yourself. You stop, know, stop, <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Because it does help you relax, you know. So, no, anyways, that should not help at all. Trust me. Hey, well, besides that, like, dude, look at me. What? I'm riding uh, in the back. I'll save it for a different time. <laughs> but like, besides that, I mean. Like if I'm having trouble sleeping, I have to have a reason why. So if it's because I just happen to stay up all night, like for example, like these past like couple of weeks, I've been staying up all five or six on my phone or on Discord. Uh -huh. like, I just put my phone down and I like knock out because my my head is so fucking tired. Like I had to like let me just close my eyes for a couple of seconds and I'm out.
but that's but, like that's like burning yourself out is it not yeah it's pretty much burning yourself out if it's like if it's I have a headache and that's why i can't sleep then i'll just take melatonin because it's my only okay. way of getting out of it melatonin but melatonin but the thing about melatonin if it does work that's true it does work um it's that some people they find like they find like they need it it's like like the average, they, i need it all the time i that's, see that's, that's why i don't want to try it addicted yeah it's not even addicted it's just like you end up being like you rely hey, it you rely yeah on you it. rely too much on it like yeah you know i can't sleep so let me just use it so and then eventually and eventually you get a tolerance to it and you have to take more and you know go on so but like I mean, the thing is though like with that is like yeah that's what scares me because mine says take only one and i'm like it never works if i take two will i just not wake up what is the higher dosage stop like, that's what i yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, I that's why i'm scared bro i'm like i don't it doesn't work should i well, take I two but i won't wake open. up well like i guess it also depends on, like how how you how often you take it because like i said i only take one i have a headache and that's why i can't sleep so that probably happens like once a year or so so other than that like i, I fall asleep fine if i if i want to fall asleep and I just can't because I'm just wide awake for no reason. I'll listen to like, like piano, like classical shit on my phone. <laughs> like listen. lo-fi hip hop. <laughs> no, I don't. Actually, don't listen to lo-fi at all. I listen to just classical. And I that don't comes even know what lo-fi is. I listen to lo-fi all the time. Bro, I, what is lo-fi? It's just like beats, pretty much. But it's like lo-fi. It's like, you know, most music is like high fidelity, so like there's not like a lot of like background noise and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like lo-fi, like how this music, like it's it's like really clear. Mine- Minecraft music. <laughs> ah, lo-fi okay. is like yeah. literally like purposely taking and like lowering the quality of it and have like background noises and stuff. But mm-hmm. it's just like beats and stuff, and you can like it's, take snippets. And stuff. Mo- most of it's like slow too, so yeah. Reverb. It, it doesn't have to be music. There's like white noise apps that have like you know different color noises, like white, brown, pink, and all that stuff. Like my favorite is brown from this app. It's like brown noise. I don't know what it is about it. The brown note? Doesn't that make you shit? No, brown yeah. noise. What? <laughs> <Anyways>. <laughs> Wait, what does pink do then? Oh, no, I, I don't know. This. No, Wait, I just, I, 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 I just I remember was... the Mythbusters episode, the brown note make you shit. I was like, what? No, no brown <laughs> noise, not brown Wait, note. What? I know, I know. Yeah, Is some songs can have... No, they, they, it's busted. It's busted. Oh, okay. But like, that say. was the myth. It was like, there's a certain <laughs> note out there. If they play it in a song, it'll make you shit. The only time I've ever heard about the brown note was in a uh, South Park. That's it. That's the only <laughs> time I've ever heard of it. Dude, you know what I like, okay, so... Oh, wait, wait, oh. let me finish real quick. Okay. Oh, you're good. Uh, so besides like that, like on some noise apps, they have like different random noises. So like uh, airplane noise, because like whenever I'm flying, like I fall asleep super easy on an airplane because oh, of the background yeah. noise. Or like no, an AC no. hum. AC humming. I, I need a, I favorite. need something humming in the background. No, like, I I have a. <laughs> DJ falls asleep, I bro. Oh my story. god. Wait, another favorite of mine is rain on a car roof. I don't know why. It just That's works. A nice sound. That's a good one. That's a good one. So. No, I have a, I have a story. So, um, me and me and Justin would play Gran Turismo a lot. If you don't mm-hmm. know, Gran Turismo is it's a racing game. And um, one time I fell asleep while playing. Because of the car engine, narcolepsy. The, the car <laughs> engine put me to sleep, and I think Justin asked me if I was awake. <laughs> like he was. No, he was this a- dude's gone. Dude, he, he was. A- be, be, ben would always fall asleep when we play games. We'd be playing like Black Ops One, Call of the Dead Zombies. I have a video of it. He's just running into the wall. I'm like in the middle of the Easter egg too. I think he just falls asleep. <laughs> And it no. wouldn't even be late, dude. I would just it's the sounds in the game just make me fall Okay, asleep. I can relate I to that because I used to do that all the time on like Destiny and stuff. Like I'd be running around doing random quests and I just randomly fall asleep and I, I wake up like half an hour later. I'm like, wow, I just fall asleep for a bit. I'm I don't think you, I've ever happened. fallen asleep playing a game except one time at a sleepover. I was like dead tired, like three in the morning playing Call of Duty. And I fell asleep with the controller in my hand. And like when I woke up, my, con- my hand was still like holding the controller because I just took it out of my hand. Damn, you must have played your best match while asleep then. Shit, bro. (laughs) Oh, I had it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What I do to fall asleep, I drink coffee and I wait 15 minutes. Yeah, but Uh honestly, I feel like I feel like coffee. Coffee Like I, I, I'm one of those people that just gets tired drinking coffee. 
there are people, people like that. There are people like that. It's so weird because it's like it's it, like the caffeine it, is supposed to energize you. It's, but no, it's a chemical it's imbalance. Your system. System, bro. It's a chemical imbalance. Your system. Yeah, I don't drink so, coffee it, for uh, like caffeine at all. I mean, I'm probably sure I'm just like. I drink it just for the flavor. Yeah, same. Yeah, no. I just drink because I like it. Exactly, same thing. I told that to my coworkers. They don't understand. <laughs> they, yeah, they're like, they, you can drink coffee at two in the morning. I'm saying, like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm about to go after this. After we're done recording, bro, I'm about to go knock out. I just had coffee right before we started too. Well, Not some people drink tea. I drink tea. I had tea earlier well, today. My, no, my oh, mom. Sweet tea's the only way to go. Ugh. My mom, when she <laughs> says, um, when, like, to help us sleep or when we're sick, she would like drink mantania, which is, um, oh my god, chamomile. There we go. It was chamomile tea. But yeah, so, I mean, that's like yeah, that's normal. So, doesn't matter. I I, ha- I have a I have a, I have a question. I, I have a question that. real quick. I just huh? said that. I said oh, chai you? tea. Oh chai tea. Oh. I wait. No, I, I had a question about the melatonin though. Okay. So is is it supposed to help you just fall asleep or is it supposed to help you sleep? Fall like, asleep both. and stay asleep. Both. Yeah. yeah both. Both. And- so okay. W- Okay, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Go. Oh, because I was gonna ask, like, would that help with people who are, who are constantly having like, um, sleep paralysis? Like, would they just? I don't not... think so. I think the sleep paralysis overrides it because that's uh, your body or your uh, yeah, I guess your body like knowing. No, w- w- what's the? I forgot the structure of sleep paralysis. Like how it works. Like, like, why do your eyes open up? Is it your mind just wakes up, or I your think body? It's during, is, is it... it's during like phase one, right? Where you're like REM sleep. Yeah. No, yeah. REM sleep is phase three. It's not even phase one. What's whatever phase well, one I, is I, when I... you're like barely asleep, quote unquote, like where yeah. all your dreams happen. Wait. No. Your dreams right? happen in REM. In REM. Sleep. No, that happens in REM. REM is in phase three. <laughs> different day, different topic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this another day because yeah, REM cycle is really interesting. Thing. Okay, but anyways, um, no, I think I think if I remember correctly, sleep paralysis is when like your mind wakes up, but because your body is in a shutdown mode, your mind yeah, yeah, for yeah. whatever reason doesn't actually wake up your body like it normally should. You're a so, psychopath, Justin. I'll have sleep paralysis, but I'll be facing like a wall. Well, the demons come. Did the demons I, tell I, you I, to I, kill I, the children? Oh my god, <laughs> I remember. I remember this. Uh, uh, one of my friends, you guys know him, uh, Peter. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. He 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 went one uh, one time. He went three days without sleeping. When Why? he finally, went to, I don't know. When he finally went to sleep, he had sleep paralysis, and he said he saw the grandma. He calls it, bro. It was the creepiest shit that I heard. I ever heard. I I would be scared shitless if I were to get sleep paralysis. It's terrifying, dude. Well, dude, I mean, I feel I- like. That in itself would be like if you just like wake up and you can't move, it'd be pretty scary. But I feel like if you actually like hallucinate while doing it, dude, that'd be like another level of it. Yeah. J- I, if we do have an episode, we gotta get Jason because Jason has it constantly. Oh well, yeah. then we're definitely bringing Jason on for that episode. I mean, yeah. I, I've never had sleep paralysis, so I can't relate to it. But I feel like I if I ever did it. have it, like I wouldn't be too worried because so many people talk about it so much that I know what it is. But I, I, I can't say for sure. I would not want to see the grandma. That's all I know. I have <laughs> astral projected, though. Interesting. How do you do it? Tell me how to do it. I'm going to do it. We'll save it for another topic. We'll save it. No, but I forced myself to wake up because I was like right after we watched Insidious when... <laughs> oh, that shit's terrifying. <laughs> like, dude. Okay. Yeah, so, I was like, what if someone else goes in my body? The fuck? What is... What Can you describe what is astral projection? Because I actually have a possible story to that. It's Isn't like that when, when you, like you see your bo- your body? Like, when, yeah, you're, you're like you wake up, dreaming. you wake up, and you get up. But when you look back, you see your body still asleep. Okay, so what I had was different. Then I'll save it for the next topic. Because the world the was podcast. like, like everything was all green around me, just like Insidious, and I was just like, oh no, just like just like uh, Minecraft. It was, it was so definitely just, green I, because I, of the movie, Justin. I, dude, I literally held my breath and forced myself to wake up. Yeah, and I'll. I'll I'll explain like how it happened. Yeah, let's save that juicy story for another time. Yeah, because we how did we go? All I'm gonna we... say, all I'm gonna say, Pokemon movie. Was it seven? Is that the one with Manaphy? Manaphy. That's all I'm gonna say. Seven. I think it was. Seven. What did you the, do the when you see right? Manaphy, Justin? That's my favorite Pokemon movie ever, bro. Mine is the Lucario one. The one before it. Oh, that one was good too. Mine is one where Pikachu Ooh. talks in the stadium and he cries. That's the first uh, one. Yes, that's the first one. 
Well, he doesn't what? talk. They made him talk. Wait, were they gonna remake that? They did, and he talked. Oh, okay. Wait, is that the one where where he was like, where where wait, where Pikachu uh, told Ash that he loved him? Well, originally, Ash, like, originally there wasn't there wasn't Pikachu talking. It was just like he was crying. It was like Pika Pika and like touching Ash, but Ash was stone. Oh, he's touching Ash, huh? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then Overwatch. <laughs> And the one, oh, okay, that's a oh, different wait, night. That's, that's, wait, hold on. I don't want to know about that story. I mean, no. keep going, keep going. No, finish, finish, go. I'm distracted, bro. I kind of want to. Well, we, we should probably wrap this up. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah. We said closing remarks like ten minutes ago. Okay, okay. Yeah. I just, I just thought it was funny that we, we went. The topic was what helps us fall asleep to Justin telling us that he held his breath to wait to force himself to wake I mean, up. It's so. kind of the same topic. <laughs> oh, because well, I, I knew, I knew that question about the. Well, yeah, because it's really cool how it's how I actually got it. Oh, I it think have superpowers. or how it works. Oh, dude, it is really? the 21st. The Saturn and Jupiter <laughs> are lined up. I'm going to jump off my roof tonight, boys. Have you guys have you guys ever heard of the back room? Yeah. OK, can we? Dude. OK, Wait, OK. <laughs> Somebody yeah, please write this down so we can continue talking about this. Yeah. Next time. All, right. All right. Well, J wrap it up. All right, well, if you've stuck around for this long, I hope we've entertained you long enough. Um, remember to eat your cereal dry. Uh, thank thank the lunch lady because she might give you a little extra something in your meal. And uh, remember to do your homework, kids. <laughs> that could have um, taken so bad. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, Jake's Mexican for... to fall asleep. I <laughs> uh, hope you all sleep well. Um, Take two melatonin. Wherever you are in the world. Yeah, two melatonin, remember. Yeah, you won't wake uh, up the next life day. life advice. <laughs> You're going to wake up in a uh, different universe. Okay. You're going to wake up in a Wait. Pop Smoke concert. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, with, man. With Kobe next oh. to you. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right. R.I.P. Kobe. Um, thanks for sticking around. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next one. Thank you, everybody. Peace. Thank you. Good night. And this is where you played the intro to Blueberry. <laughs>